Welcome to the channel, your place to discover and share everything there is to know about virtual classrooms and more. I'm Richard, your virtual classroom coach, and in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can merge yourself with your live slide deck for maximum facilitator effect. <laughs> Yes, this is the channel that specialises in the world of live online learning. So if you want to become a virtual classroom champion, subscribe and keep on watching. Now, if you haven't seen them already, do check out my other videos that showcases the amount of control you have to change and increase the quality of your video in Zoom. And then there's my other video on virtual backgrounds and filters. But in this one, we're going to have a look at a brand new feature of Zoom, still in beta, that gives you the option to overlay your live video stream onto your live slideshow, just as you can see right here. So what's great about this is that you remain with your participants as they view the slides. So it's a perfect mix of the humanity that you want to get across and the tech that enables learning to happen. And it really means your learner doesn't have to jump between different visuals from looking at you, then refocusing on slides, then looking back at you again. So it really allows for that convenience and concentration. Let's see how we can make this happen. Well, first, make sure you're on the most up-to-date version of Zoom, and that should then enable this brand new function. However, if it's still not there, it could be more to do with your operating system or even the processing power of your device. So you start your virtual classroom or online workshop in the usual way. Start your video as usual. You'll see I'm using a chroma key or green screen here in order to get the cleanest, crispest and most professional effect. Then select the share screen option at the bottom and the usual window opens. Here, click into the Advanced tab at the top and you'll see the options of Slides as a Virtual Background. So select that and then of course that big blue share button lower down. Now from here you'll be nudged to navigate to your computer file system to select the right file. And note in this beta version it supports both Windows PowerPoint and Apple Keynote. So choose and open the relevant slide deck and Zoom will prepare the selected files to play within the Zoom app. Once completed, your overlay will appear and you can then move through your slide deck via the forward and backward arrows there. And you can click on the kebab, those three little dots next to the arrows, and you have the option to reposition and resize your overlay. And that can also be achieved by just double clicking on the video itself to expose the borders and handles. Now you can resize both ways and move the video to wherever is right for the slide deck. And split video from slides, also within the kebab, allows you to move your video off the slides in an instant. So if this is something you'd like to use, it may be worth going through your slide deck in advance or just considering this new option at design stage because obviously you don't want to be masking or obscuring anything important or, or having to constantly resize or reposition yourself as the distractions could outweigh the benefits. Now this for me is an ingenious new feature from Zoom. I love it, it's still in beta, so it will only improve with builds and user feedback, but I think it's a great option that really allows the facilitator to stay attached to the learners as you move them through the slides. So there you go, a fun new feature of Zoom that provides yet another option of creating engaging virtual classroom delivery. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below or what your dream feature of Zoom would be. Who knows, they could be listening. But that's all for now. Until next time, thanks for watching.